Uh, what you'll need to perform this job is obviously a fuel filter and for the 4.2 300 horsepower it's 6p3 w s 24a01 you'll need a o-ring 6p3 2450 you'll need a 10 millimeter socket on your ratchet and optionally an oil filter, I'm sorry, fuel filter wrench. You can do it without this, uh, but after you've done a few of them, you'll appreciate having it. Okay. This uh, is the location of the fuel filter on the 4.2 liter, 300 horsepower. I think the other V6s on the 4.2 are the exact same configuration. There's two bolts, one here, and one down here that you need to take off. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket and this lower one, you'll definitely need the U-joint for it. These are very easy to drop into the lower engine cowl. Um, you may want to have one of those flexible magnets with you in order to uh, retrieve one in case you drop it. I'm actually going to use the bracket to hold the bolt to my socket as I'm taking this out. So I don't lose it. Okay, uh, the bottom of the reservoir has a sensor on it that you want to disconnect and it's just follow the wire up and you'll see this blue, I'm getting that for you, this blue quick disconnect fitting, just squeeze the top, pull it out, I'll use my fuel filter wrench to break this loose. Trying to keep the wire from getting all kinked up, so you saw me twisting it as I unscrewed it. Now inside here is your filter. Make sure you drain that. Okay. You see that we have the O-ring has stayed attached to the top of the filter housing. That doesn't always happen. If you take this off and don't see an O-ring here, that means it's stuck to the top housing and you got to reach in there and pull it out. You don't want two in there, it'll absolutely leak. So here are my new O-ring. My new filter. Yamaha made this so easy to do. Everyone should be doing this themselves. Definitely shouldn't be paying someone to do this kind of job. Turn on there to snug that O ring up. I'm going to fish that sensor plug back underneath the brackets. And then I'll connect it back so you hear the click. Tuck it back down. Okay, now we only have to 
put this bracket on. Now, I recommend you put the bolt into the bracket, use that to hold it. Okay, let's start it. Top one on. If you enjoyed this please uh, like my channel like the video and consider subscribing to my channel tight lines everyone